Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. In this episode, we are making one of the essential ingredients we use in Turkish cuisine, pepper paste. Let me tell you, this is an easier version you can make at home because normally it is widely made in the southeastern part of the Turkey and they are sun drying it. Sometimes they also use other peppers and also the store-bought versions are different from the ones we're gonna make. So think of a simple home version you can enjoy year-long adding to your dishes and it gives really nice taste and color. So let's get started. Okay, I have three kilograms sweet red peppers. I washed them. I'm going to take out the stems and the seed now. And gonna just roughly chop it to four pieces, like so, and transfer it to another tray here. So here I'm done with the cutting and I'm gonna use my biggest pan but it's, it's not gonna uh, fit anyway so I'm going to cook it in two portions. Just adding the uh, peppers and going to my stove top. Before processing into a puree we're gonna cook it to get some of the juice out. So to help for making a steam, I just added near one cup of water and begin to cook it. First I thought it will uh, shrink down but it still was too much. So I take out some of it and as I said, I cook it in two portions. As you can see, it is now released its juices and more denser. but uh, somewhat soft. We're still going to continue to cook it. So when they are soft enough, we can uh, drain it and cook the other half. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to cook. And again, I'm gonna drain. So now the second part, we're gonna process the red peppers in the food processor. Since we have the skin with the peppers, it takes a bit too much time to process it and sometimes it is not successful, so we're gonna strain it again. And since we have lots of red peppers, just work in batches again. So here we go. I'm gonna uh, strain it in a, a coarse sieve and get as much as juice. And the pulp will remain still, a lot of pulp. Normally they use a meat grinder to uh, grind it, that works best if, if you have, but since we don't have it, I'm just going to process the remaining pulp again to make it as much as smooth as possible. Actually, after the second process, you don't have to uh, strain it. I couldn't think of it that time because we're gonna use a hand blender to process more again. So just 
uh, process first time and the uh, second time with the pulp and put everything back to the pan this time processing with a hand blender or regular blender so it's looking good now and after this point I'm just going to continue to cook in a simmering heat to reduce as much as juice as possible here you have to stir it frequently or put something like this as a lid you see the lid it bubbles a lot so you have to be careful first I use the silicone lid but uh, since it gives its color I used a piece of paper after that and normally the Sun works in this part is a reducing the juice in the southeastern part in where it is a hot and dry climate so while it's reducing I'm cleaning my jars and lids because we need to can it otherwise it won't stay long you see it it really makes it dirty be, be careful again and after it is reduced to a paste it can it is normal to be a little bit uh, runnier than regular the store-bought one just add salt about a one and a half tablespoon I added I think because it also will help to preserve it just be careful when you use it in your dishes uh, don't add extra salt before uh, tasting your dishes because it will be salty from uh, coming from the paste as you can see I also uh, cleaned my jars and lids I'm using new lids except the uh, smaller one because we're gonna can it to preserve otherwise it won't stay like more than uh, longer than uh, one week So be careful and while your jar is clean and hot add bubbling pepper paste to your uh, jar and close it securely, tightly and turn it over. I usually uh, prefer to use a smaller cans. So it is better to finish it than after you open where you can use these you can use them in any dishes in, in stews to make a marinade to mix it with uh, chicken with spices in meat dishes bean dishes all anywhere we use it a lot you know uh, I use a lot, lot of tomato and pepper paste in Turkish cuisine so this is an option you can use after they are cooled down make sure you check them if it is tight enough so it works the preservation and keep it in a cool dry place I usually prefer to still keep them in the fridge so give it a try it really has an intense taste and flavor and color as you remember if you watched in the previous episode I made a ajuka a spread with spices and used this homemade uh, pepper paste too and it was the only one I used a old jar with a lid but it worked perfectly it was tight and hard to open it as you can see and smell so delicious so this is a one example you can use and this is an example of uh, three different paste on the back you see store-bought pepper paste on the right front the dark one is a sun-dried tomato paste and on the left the one is the brightest in color is the homemade red pepper paste I made so I hope you give it a try and enjoy Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.